Check engine light on. After reading out the fault memory, the car stored codes P0171 and P0174. The most common cause is a vacuum leak. With brake cleaner, I trace the vacuum leak back to the DESA valve. After initial removal of the DESA, I found this. The DESA valve, responsible for regulating the differentiated air intake, snapped off, leaving the DESA useless. In this how-to video, I show you how to repair this and even upgrade the DESA so it never happens again. And also prevent this pin being sucked into the air intake manifold. I ordered this DESA repair kit from X8R on eBay. Included in the kit is an upgraded aluminium diesel valve, a new o-ring gasket, retaining ring, grease and some Loctite. The pin that mounts the original valve to the diesel unit can cause serious engine damage when sucked into the intake manifold. The new part is modified. The rod that replaces the pin screws in from the bottom and is secured with Loctite. Let's go to the car and get this thing installed. Start by opening the hood. Locate the DESA unit. It is mounted on the driver's side of the car. Start by removing the connector. Remove the two Torx T40 screws that hold the DESA. Pull back on the DC unit to remove it. Remove the cap located on the back of the DC unit. Remove the retaining ring. Disconnect the rod that goes to the membrane. Push out the old pivot point. Take apart the new valve by removing the rod with an allen key. Make sure not to lose the included washer. Grab the new pivot point and apply some grease. Push it inside the DESA unit. Insert the valve while pressing down on the pivot point. Make sure the valve is in the open position. Connect the rod from the membrane back to the pivot point. Apply some Loctite to the threads of the rod. Insert in the valve and screw it in place. Thank you. 
install the retaining ring to the pivot point holding the rod of the membrane. You can test the membrane by closing the valve and holding the membrane vent hole shut. If the valve sticks and opens after releasing the vent hole, then the membrane is ok. Apply the new o-ring. Install the protective cover. Reinstall the modified DISA. Put back the two screws. Reconnect the DISA and lastly delete the fault codes and you're done. I would recommend this modification to anyone that has an M54 or M52 engine well over 150,000 kilometers. It's not the question if your DISA is gonna break but when it's gonna break. I hope you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and I will see you next time.